Welcome back to the second perspective. Open DuckDuckGo and enter this in the search box. Click this link, which will take you to an article published recently in the peer-reviewed journal, Frontiers in Virology. Click here to download the article in PDF format. As you can see, this paper involved researchers from Italy, India, Switzerland, and several prestigious U.S. centers. Though there are well-established microbiologists listed here, it is somewhat ironic that the first author is an ophthalmologist from Oregon. Perhaps he can help us see what's really going on. They start by pointing out that compared to the bat coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2 has a unique change in its spike protein. To be more specific, four of the protein's building blocks are found in SARS-CoV-2 but not the bat coronavirus. This unique string of building blocks is found in an area called the furin cleavage site, or FCS for short. It is well known from prior studies that this unique FCS is required for SARS-CoV-2 to cause severe disease. And if this unique FCS is absent, then the virus is attenuated, which essentially means it's weaker and less of a threat. Now, if you recall grade 11 biology, you know that mRNA codes for each of the building blocks which make up a protein. Here is the code, and here is the unique sequence of blocks that we need to string together. The first block is called proline, which can be coded for as C, C, U. The next is arginine, which can be coded for as C, G, G. The next is also arginine, so we'll repeat that. And the fourth is alanine, which can be coded for as G, C, A. According to the authors, this is indeed the sequence found in the mRNA of SARS-CoV-2. When the authors included some of the surrounding code, they found that the probability of this occurring by chance is roughly 1 in 30 billion. What they couldn't find, however, is this sequence in any other virus. Thus, they were left wondering where in the world this came from. We are likewise utterly flabbergasted, but what we do know is that according to high school biology, mRNA can also come from DNA through a process known as transcription. According to the authors, hypothetically speaking, SARS-CoV-2's unique FCS sequence can be made from a DNA template that looks like this. Upon expanding their search to DNA, the authors found a 100% match, sequence ID 11652, located in U.S. Patent 9587003, which was filed on February 4, 2016. You can download the patent document from Google by entering this URL and clicking here. As you can see, the applicant and holder of this patent is Moderna. Let me ask you what the Daily Mail is reporting. It says more evidence COVID was tinkered with in a lab. Now scientists find the virus contains a tiny chunk of DNA that matches sequence patented by Moderna three years before the pandemic began. Your reaction, Stefan? What can you tell us? So my scientists are looking into those data to see how uh, accurate they are or not. As I've said before, the hypothesis of an escape from a lab by an accident is possible. You know, human makes mistakes. I, I, mean, I mean, I was struck by the line, it matched a genetic sequence patented by Moderna for cancer research purposes, Stefan. Yeah, and that's the type of things that the team is looking at very carefully to know is it, is it real or not. Okay. So it, it takes a bit of time to analyze yeah. all the genetic sequence. Now, while we await a formal response from Moderna, you are more than welcome to read the author's theory about how this all could have happened. However, we believe that the possibilities cannot be summed up better than in the analogy delivered live by John Stewart. All right, John. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's been an outbreak of chocolatey goodness near Hershey, Pennsylvania. What do you think happened? Like, oh, I don't know, maybe a steam shovel made it with a cocoa bean. Or it's the <laughs> chocolate factory. Maybe that's it. That could be. That could be. If you found this valuable, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon for more videos on The Second Perspective.